Individuals who have yet to commit any money to markets, roughly 40% of them, had no idea how to even take that first step toward investing. At the World Economic Forum, we've been privileged to bring together a number of critical stakeholders in financial services across the globe to look at the future of market democratization. That's how retail investors, those are non-professional investors, are engaging with capital markets and some of the key opportunities and challenges associated with this secular trend. The bottom line as it relates to what we have coined the empowered investor is really, it lies at the nexus of an individual who has the requisite access to asset classes and instruments that meet their risk and reward profile. So their, their risk tolerance and also their objectives. They have a sense of confidence that they understand how the system works. They understand how to engage with a financial institution. And they understand the elements of a financial plan and how these components fit together. So they have that knowledge base front and center. And finally, this ability to access advice, either in a hybrid manner or also through a personal advisor and an individual basis, human to human. If you have a combination of those pieces, as an individual, you're well situated to handle your financial resources and be an empowered investor and take that financial destiny into your own hands in a very constructive manner. There's a huge opportunity here for the industry to work proactively, we believe, with educational institutions to create an approach that helps inform individuals and teach them from a young age some of these core values. Because again, the trend, as we believe, in a secular sense, is moving toward individuals taking more of that onus on themselves and by necessity having to commit money to markets. And that's an opportunity for everyone. We feel to have representation among all segments of the global population, the ability to invest in markets as a way to grow and preserve wealth, it should be a fundamental right. Right now, there are many different barriers that prevent individuals from getting involved in markets. Some of that is knowledge-based, some of it is structural. The necessity for individuals to have control and strong understanding around their financial futures is absolutely critical. Having that access is a positive phenomenon, and it's something that the industry should get behind and support in order to maintain and to grow it into the future because again, it does tie into people's livelihoods and their ability to manage their own finances and be empowered investors.